My name is Michelle Dietrich and I'm a makeup artist. I've done makeup on a lot of celebrities. Pam Anderson, Kanye West, Benny Kravitz, Cynthia Nixon. There's a big misconception that I could never do that look on the runway, and you absolutely can't. Everybody can, and you'll play to your best attributes, and I can show you how to do that. So a few insider tips for applying eyeshadow would be to first, if you already have foundation on um, or other makeup, you want to kind of protect it from the powder color of whatever eyeshadows you're about to use. So I'm going to use a rounded kind of medium sized brush, once again between the blush and the eyeshadow brush, just to pat some powder just underneath her eyes to kind of protect her makeup. So we're gonna leave the powder underneath her eye powdery so that if any other eyeshadow powder falls on top of that, it will be easy to sweep it away afterwards. You won't mess up all of the other items that you've already put on your face, which on Delphine is you know, foundation, brown, bronzer, etc. We just contoured her cheeks, but also used the same color to do some light contouring on her eyes to create a more dimensional lid. Now we're going to start with a very neutral, kind of peachy, nude color on to Delphine's lid. This will also allow you to easily turn a day look into night. So we're using a very neutral palette and this can be a base for everything else all the time. It can be your day look, but you can also really work it into a night look and maybe instead of doing a smoky gray eye, we can do a smoky brown eye or something, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so we're gonna take a kind of neutral pinky peach and I'm gonna have Delphine look down. So this is something that you can do at home as well as a tip. It's going to make your eye makeup so much easier for you to do in that if you have your mirror at home, either a hand mirror or your bathroom mirror and you tilt your head back and look down into it, you can see your lid without going like this, like you regularly would. And that will go for liner, mascara, everything. I'll show you in a little bit, but just tilt your head back and you can dabble it on. So go ahead and tilt your head back and look down. If you're doing somebody else, you can have them close their eyes if it's more comfortable for them. Pat it with a flat brush. So we're still doing kind of a, a fresh day look. We want it to make her lid appear bright, rested, and eyes bigger and more innocent. <laughs> okay, see so how that just opens up the eye. Just little pats all over the lid. And I like to start in the middle of the lid at this point because we already have the contour on the outside. So it's just gonna make it look like we blended longer by leaving the contour intact on the outside, that pretty V that we blended earlier. Then if you want to take kind of a smaller pencil brush, I like to call it a pencil brush because it has a very um, kind of stiff, texture, you can see, it doesn't move around a lot. It's not a blender brush. I like to call it more of like a pencil brush, even more so than the thinner brush that we used earlier because this fans out easily. It's not stiff because it's longer. Okay, so we're also going to take a little bit of a lighter version of the color that we just used, which is just a, a basic pinky peach. And we're going to Go ahead and look down and over to the side Delphine. Just take it right into the corner of the eye. And this will give the appearance of a wider set eye, which if that's what you want, that's the way to do it. Take a little bit of a, a highlight into the corner of the eye. But it needs to be a neutral color. You don't want it to look too uh, dramatic. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to Take a little bit of an even darker brown. I'm gonna pick kind of a neutrally color. We're going to apply it a 
kind of across the lash line. But because this is day, we want to keep it soft. And so when you get that little shakedown, that's good that the powder is there because then you can sweep it away easily. And we're just going to take it a little next to the, on, just on the outer corner. We're not doing a full smoke, but just a little bit more definition to bring the eye out a little bit more. All right, so now we've just finished this basic eyeshadow look and we're gonna just sweep away the powder underneath the eye so we can get a better look at the shadow. And then what I like to do, just to make sure you always have a really nice, soft blend, go ahead and use the brush that you just wiped away, the translucent powder, and just lightly sweep it across. Because though we want definition and contouring and dimension, we don't wanna to look too made up, I think better to have less than more because you can always add more and that's how we do a basic eyeshadow look.